The Washington Commanders just made yet another signing and quite frankly a move that was much needed. Also, Dallas Cowboys fans are boycotting training camp. Is there something to that? Let's talk about it. I feel left. What I want. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with a video where we're going to be talking about the Washington Commanders making yet another signing and an important signing. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. We're on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so we greatly appreciate it. Can we reach that goal as soon as possible? Thank you so much. Let's get straight to it. So, the Washington Commanders earlier made a signing where they brought in Byron Pringle, a former Washington Commander. They brought him back and seeing what he could potentially bring to this offense. Then, the Washington Commanders later on uh, the day and a couple hours ago has just claimed Riley Patterson kicker off of waivers. And this right here was a move that was much needed in my opinion. As you know, Washington's kicking situation is very unknown and it's obscured right now because we don't know what's going to happen at the kicker position. Earlier this offseason, we signed um, Brandon McManus, but obviously we released him later on after the situation that came out with him in an, um, an SA situation. So we were surfing for court, um, kickers ever since. We did get um, a kicker from the UFL. Uh, his name is Amal Ramaz. I believe that's his name, how you pronounce it. But he's been struggling in campus. He's missed like three kicks um, in one day, um, and he's been struggling a little bit. Um, so that, I believe, is what prompted them to go ahead and get Riley Patterson. If you don't know Riley Patterson or if that name sounds familiar, he played for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And he has he has quite the leg on him. Um, so we're hoping that potentially this guy could be something for us and he could be the kicker that we need to uh, that we need to uh, solidify us, at least for this year until we draft one. Um, we have a kicking issue, though, fellas, like uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, to be honest with you. Uh, because we, in my opinion, should have probably kept Joey Sly. Not that Joey Sly was like this great kicker or anything like that, but for the simple fact that we knew like Joey Sly was a clean guy. Like this situation that happened with Brandon McManus, it kind of followed him from Jacksonville. It happened in Jacksonville, and yeah, I granted, I get it. We took a flyer on him. We didn't think this was gonna happen, but I feel like that's a little bit of our fault for not doing our research on it because it's not like this is something that happened when he got here. This was something that happened in Jacksonville. So it, we should have known that it was a possibility that this could have came out. However, again, we didn't. So, yeah, that's why we're in the predicament that we're in now. Um, and if I'll be honest with you, uh, I'm kind of getting 2020 flashbacks. Remember Chris Blewett and so many other kickers that you have to be let go of Justin Hopkins. Like I'm getting those kind of flashbacks right now. And that's not good <laughs> because we're 20 was that 2021 that year we had like Chris Blewett and all those guys. And the guy that won, they won us the game there in uh, Las Vegas. Like I'm getting a lot of those, uh, those feelings back, man. And, um, I don't really like that. So this time of the year, if you're not satisfied with your kicking game in July, August, you don't really know if your kicking situation is going to be settled. That's not a good thing because, again, the season starts next month. The uh, freaking preseason games start next week. So we're going to see, uh, or maybe in two weeks from now, we're going to see if we can figure this out because if we can't, this is going to be something that's going to hurt us, like especially with a team that you believe is going to be in a lot of close games this season and you don't expect them to blow out many teams. You're going to need every point that you need um, are going to need. And for them to not have this figured out, again, I don't want to necessarily put it all on the staff because, again, you took a chance on a guy like Brandon McManus who you thought was going to be able to come in and, and hold it down for a year or two. But he obviously had a situation that – Followed him from Jacksonville, but also I feel like again J Joey Sly could have been a guy that we could have potentially stayed with and worked with because again he wasn't horrible, he wasn't good. Don't get me wrong, but he wasn't anybody that like you, you know what I'm saying, you couldn't work with, especially if you weren't going to draft a guy. At least my whole thing was at least drafting a kicker. I've been wanting us to draft a kicker since we had Ron Rivera here, um, but we still are yet to do that. Um, but again, maybe Riley Patterson can come in and he could solidify a spot. 
because we're going to need it. I think we need a kicker uh, like him who has a nice leg. But also accuracy is also the biggest thing too because Joey Sly did have a big leg, but accuracy was his issue. Now, let me go ahead and go to Twitter right quick and, and tell you guys what John Kimes said about this signing. He gave us a little bit of insight on what Riley Patterson could, could uh, bring to this team as far as his kicking ability. So let me go ahead and go to John Kimes' page right now and give you guys a little bit of background on on um on Riley Patterson. So uh John Kimes says Patterson has made fifty nine of sixty seven field goal attempts, fifteen out of seventeen with Detroit last season, ninety three out of ninety seven on his career for extra points. Good chance for him. Washington needs more comp. If Patterson doesn't work, other vets will come free later in August. Second waiver claim key. And again, you guys know we do have the second pick in the waiver claim because obviously that's how we finished in the season last year, second worst team last year. So <clears throat> we'll see uh, what, what 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 this move is going to be. Um, we released Dax Mill and Demir Bird today, so that was the, that's how we were able to make room for Byron Pringle and Riley Patterson. So that's all I have for that portion of the video. Let's go ahead and switch gears. But before we do, let me give a huge shout out to today's sponsor. Are you guys looking to go to an, an event coming up here soon? Well, if you are, SeatGeek is the place for you as they rate their tickets from green to red and they get tickets from all across the web and put them into one interface just for you. And right now, right now only, you can go there and type in the promo code section Juan Gotti to get $20 off your first purchase. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best promo codes in the game because it's saving you $20 and you don't have to pay for it or nothing. It's literally just getting it for free. And let's say, okay, you bought your tickets already but you know parking is going to be a killer well um the tickets are there for parking too you punch in that promo code 20 dollars off your parking i'm telling you this is a killer um uh, promo code it's going to help you out so much so go ahead and use it while you have the chance to all righty let's switch gears to the dallas cowboys right this is something that i believe is going to make a lot of us happy so uh per jpa football uh the dallas cowboys fans have been boycotting training camp uh as you can see right here on your screen it, it's looking a little washington like from when dan snyder was here remember nobody came out to training camp nobody came out to the games and like it's looking a little a little washington dan snyderish right here and, and this makes me a, a very very excited to see this going on uh a lot of people uh like the dallas cowboys you know their team and their organization is very very you know like they have a big fan base, right? They practice in Oxnard. So they, year in and year out, have a, a, a lively training camp. And, uh, again, I don't know if this pitcher is just, you know, taken at the beginning of practice. I don't know if, like, anyone's trolling or whatever. But if this is a legit pitcher and, like, fans are, like, not coming – that says a lot. I, I really do think that says a lot about how they feel about at least this regime. You know, a lot of Cowboys fans aren't big fans of Mike McCarthy. You know what I'm saying? I think he's a big reason why they haven't been able to be successful. Dak Prescott's also a big reason why I haven't, why I believe they haven't been able to get over that hump in the playoffs. So I don't know if Cowboys fans are finally giving up. I don't know. Or maybe like someone said in this comment right here, it's 100 degrees outside. So maybe that's why a lot of fans are staying in. Who knows? But as a Washington Commanders fan and a fan that's been around for a while that's seen their team do that exact thing, boycotting, and I can tell you the weather was not the reason for that, this is a blessing to my eyes seeing my rival struggle. <laughs> So, all right, y'all, y'all have a blessed one. Stay safe. Be easy out there. Stay safe, please. Y'all have a blessed one. Stay safe. Peace. Had to say that three times. <laughs>